Well, I woke up this morning, twiddled the dials on the uh, little transistor and came across a new radio station in Birmingham today. Absolutely. This is the latest move in the battle for the airwaves in the Midlands. A new commercial radio station has indeed been launched today in Birmingham. It's called Buzz FM and it's targeted at an audience of young adults. The station says, and I quote, it aims to satisfy the heart, soul and feet. <laughs> A few seconds to go and Mark Williams, Birmingham's latest radio presenter, prepares for the very first words on the city's newest radio station. This for the very first time is Buzz FM 102.4. Maybe it's... That's it. it. And with that simple beginning, Buzz FM broadcasting from the jewellery quarter was okay. launched. The staff are hoping for 200,000 listeners in Birmingham, especially in the 18 to 34 age group. The champagne flowed as the station took to the airwaves at 8 a.m. Spirit of So how's it going so far? How's it going so far? It's going very well indeed. Um, very exciting, you know, great to uh, uh, to be on the air and a new sound in the uh, in the city. Very looking forward to it and uh, the reaction I hope will be really good. I hope so anyway. What sort of style is this radio station going to have? Is it going to be a lot of music or...? This is what they call uh, an adult uh, specialist radio station um, with a, a very soulful feel to it, uh, which Birmingham has needed for many, many years. And uh, it's here to stay, I hope anyway. Who are you trying to appeal to? What sort of audience are you looking for? Mainly what appear to be somewhat disgruntled 18 to 34 year olds who are fed up with hearing pop pap as we call it uh, or incessant oldies from the 60s, Freddie and the Dreamers and that sort of music and would like to hear album tracks by well-known artists but classy artists. Buzz News, I'm Kim Sabido. A as well as the music, there'll be news and travel updates read by former Central News reporter Kim Sabido. 22 plus. <laughs> With surveys showing that even the station's trade test transmissions have been heard by one in three Birmingham households, it looks like the buzz will soon become a familiar sound in the city. Gotcha. Thank you for all the petitions you've wanted us back all across Birmingham, and we're here to stay. This was to be the last rebirth of Buzz FM in its chequered history. Muff Mervyn and his wife Ginny, a business team from Worcester, rescued the station at the end of last year. But the recovery was short-lived. Buzz has now lost its licence to a new London-based station called Choice FM. Buzz staff say they're devastated. We're just gutted. We can't believe what's happened. It's just such a sad time. We can't believe we never got the licence. Everybody is so sad. I've, I've never seen so many people in tears. The station, I hope, will offer not only a music format, but certainly a lot more information, a lot more speech time to people who want to phone in on a range of what we believe are important topics that covers not only Birmingham, but the country.